Okay, and... Well now, men, we oh so sore for being patriarchal, Mom, but I was born in 1916. Being a man was different then. You remember, right? When they put me in purgatory for misbehaving after your passing, I did have some time to play catch-up where I was made to read several women's studies texts. I especially liked that Naomi Wolf and her thinking on the enslavement of women through that beauty myth. That was a real eye-opener, Mom. I'm telling you, so you will know. Yes, Donald. Oh, Donald, you are so knowledgeable. <laughs> Thanks for enlightening us on the, your unique brand of third wave feminism. I look forward to the lecture series you will deliver when we get back past the pearly gates. I'm sure when Gloria Steinman shows up in the afterlife, you will be briefing her ultimately on what she would have done more to advance causes of women. And please, please do not forget to mention that you put me through Dalhousie and stayed home with the kids progressive for the early 1970s. I will grant you that. Literally, I could not have done it without you. Mom, thank you. Thank you for acknowledging my contribution to your success. You're sure divil deep in those Doyle smart genes. Yes, I was especially proud of claiming us as separated on my income tax. Do you know they closed that loophole the following year? The Canadian Revenue Agency, they know me. <laughs> yes, Donald, I believe I was entertained by that incisive anecdote once or twice back when we were alive. You tell it with such congratulations and enthusiasm now. It's really like I'm hearing it again for the first time. Such a joy. So, Mom, what brings us here? Back to St. Stephen's Cemetery. Our remains aren't resting here. So what's the point? I got a snickin idea what this is about. What do you think? I think once again, Donald, it's not about you. It's about Agnes. My good friend, my best friend, will be joining us shortly. Oh, Mom. Sore to hear that she passed. Agnes Gallant was a really good friend to you. And she was a great comfort to me when you went to your reward. She did her best to help. And I was misbehaving somewhat. In my grief, I was a very sad sack. Did I ever tell you about the time? Please focus, Donald. <laughs> God grant me the patience to accept the things I cannot change. <laughs> an eternity with Dad really is an eternity. Agnes was very generous. She decided to leave her life's ranch to the parish, and so she was laid to rest in the original St. Stephen's Parish. But she was held in such very high regard, you and I have been tasked to escort her to Paragon. Ma, that's wonderful. But then how? Donald, I know you don't like to talk, but for just once, pretend I have the spoon <laughs> <laughs> so I can have this narrative. This is why we are here now, waiting for Agnes. Similar to the famous play by Samuel Beckett. I'm sure John can tell you all about it. Anyway, here we are, waiting. Sorry, Mom. But in getting back to the subject of myself, <laughs> really, I am sorry for my impatience. I am so sorry. I'm terrible at waiting. Horribly, really. I bailed on nearly every important event I've been to. Anything and everything that wasn't about me. <laughs> Weddings, funerals, graduations, anniversaries, and the odd family reunion. How y'all doing out there tonight? Good. Great. Okay, good. Awesome, awesome. Donald, you are really much more self-aware in this afterlife. It's very becoming. It reminds me of why I love you. But be patient. I expect Agnes will be showing any time now. What's that? 
Marion? Really? Oh well. I guess this is good news. I'll tell you, Donald. Thank you. Dad, it seems there has been some confusion. Agnes' ah! gift to the parish was so exceptional that it entitled her to express packets to heaven. So she's already there, apparently. Presently Whoop. working on a memo to management on ways to be more efficient, <laughs> and her sure talents will be appreciated. Only Agnes can suggest ways to improve upon that per per perfection. Although, come to think of it, that does remind me of someone else. Well, Stella, <laughs> since we are here, why don't we head on up to 37 Colonial to check out the old homestead. It would be great to see how it is now in this summer of 2018. I expect Joseph has taken good care of the garden there. And I bet Doll has done some great things with the interior. Although I did leave the place in top shape. I'm sure you did, Dad. You were always so passionate about the subject of home improvement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I sure hope the Colonel, Joseph, Bit, Michael, Blanche, Raymond, Doll, and Johnny Come Lately all show up. After you, Stella, you know the way. You always did. I love you, Mom. And thanks for everything. <laughs> hey! hey. hey. Okay. Yes. 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 yes.